What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. Today we have a sad news for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro users. Recently OnePlus rolled out a new update for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro which was based on beta program. So as you can see here this is my OnePlus 8 which is currently running on the latest open beta which was Oxygen OS open beta 12. For OnePlus 8 Pro we had Oxygen OS open beta 7. And the sad news is that OnePlus won't be providing any more beta updates for both these devices. So today OnePlus have announced the end of beta cycle for oneplus 8 and 8 pro and guys do not worry the end of beta program is only based on android 11 when oneplus is about to release android 12 for sure we'll get open betas based on android 12 so currently they have only ended the program of android 11 open beta so i was about to review the same update but now I think there is no use in reviewing open beta for oneplus 8 and 8 pro so now comes the main question how to downgrade a device to the stable channel so guys here to downgrade your device to stable channel make sure your device is charged more than 30 percent and also do not forget to take the backup of your device because downgrading from beta channel to stable channel will entirely wipe your data and here downgrading to stable channel we need to flash the rollback package twice you can check it out in this video how to flash that rollback package so in the description you can find the download links eu packages are still not available currently we have rollback packages available for indian and global units you can just download these files from the description below and if you guys download these files using your mobile then the file format will be in .jar and .jar format will not be supported while performing local upgrade so what you have to do is first make sure you haven't placed this file inside any of these folders make sure to place this file on the main page of internal storage I downloaded this file using my device and also make sure to take a copy of this file because we need to again use this file instead of downloading once again you can just copy this file and place it on your desktop or notebook also to take a backup of your device you can use this oneplus clone application so once you have downloaded this file you just need to long press on this file first then tap on these three dots tap on rename and here we need to remove .jar from the end once you remove .jar, now the file format will be in .zip. Just save the file and here you can see file format is now in zip. After that, go to settings, system, system update, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and choose the file. This will give you a warning the package you have selected will reset your device to factory default. So guys, once again, make sure to take a backup of your device before proceeding. Then just tap on confirm. If you're using any pin or password, then you can enter that same password or pin and tap on confirm. And now downgrade process will automatically start. This might take few minutes. Once it's done, you'll get a pop-up of reboot. But before rebooting your device, make sure to take a backup of your device. So once the installation process of this file is completed, you can tap on reboot. Now your device will boot into recovery, perform a factory reset and boot into system. But this is not the end guys, we need to again flash this file for better stability on this stable channel. And now after your device boots up, just complete the initial setup and once again we need to install the same file. So now let's complete the initial setup and copy the same file once again inside the internal storage. So guys I have completed the initial setup and again I have downloaded the file. As said to avoid these multiple downloads, you can paste this file on your alternative device. But as I have again downloaded, so you can see the file format is again in JAR format. Once again I'll rename this file, remove .jar and save the file. Now I will go to settings, system, system update. Tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and select the file. We'll tap on confirm because it will again wipe the data. And as you can see, downgrading process have been started. Once again, the device will boot into recovery, perform a factory reset and boot into system. After this, we'll be good to go. So we have successfully installed this downgrade package twice. Let's reboot our device now. So we have now successfully downgraded our OnePlus 8 to stable channel. Let me complete the initial setup and we'll show you the software information. And guys, I've completed the initial setup. Let me show you the software information now. Going to about section. 
Here you can see device is OnePlus 8 and now the build number on my OnePlus 8 is Oxygen OS 11.0.7.7. So this is the current latest build of stable channel for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. So guys this was a quick guide on downgrading your OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro from beta channel to stable channel. And I know it's a sad news for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro users but guys don't worry we'll soon gonna see Android 12 open betas for both these devices. As of now only this much in this video I hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day